Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekaha Kodash, double honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, Great Millstone, also known as GMS, and salutations to the Most High's men. Go past this stop sign, then turn right onto North Old Canton Road. Mississippi with a transit topic through the spirit and power of the Heavenly Father. Uh, briefly, just kind of going into you can do nothing. Turn right. Against the truth, but for it. You know, the Heavenly Father has his prophets established. In 1.6 miles, turn right onto Hoy Road. It's set upon a great stone, it's set upon a sure foundation, and that is the rock of Yahweh Shah. And there is nothing and no one that can come between prophecy and there is nothing and no one that can come between between the love that the elect have for the heavenly father and his own begotten son you know, because when you look at the sex of people you have different groups that are sectioned off those that love the lord those that hate the lord those that doubt the lord those that fear the lord those that do what the lord say and those that do not what he says and what comes along with that is a sure understanding from those that firmly believe and a sure spirit of doubt from those that believe it not. So those that call it upon the Heavenly Father means what? That their trust relies in Him. So if their trust relies in Him, then you can be rest assured trustfully that He will rely upon you in the time of salvation meaning he will look towards you and favor your face he will look towards you and favor your soul and he will give you ever everlasting and, and eternal life those on the opposite end you know at the next stop sign turn right you know, can you receive good of the lord when your soul is instilled with evil you know the heavenly father works in complete balance and as it is written, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways. My ways, saith Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. So that's a main tell sign for us to uh, remain humble and be still. At the stop sign, turn right onto Hoy Road. And know that he is. Because although the gainsayers have much to say, they have the Father stated that his word was not going to go out void. You know? And although there are many that do not believe that we're living in it. In 1.1 miles, turn left onto Rice Road. In the last times, or the end of the end, right? The scripture says, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Why is that? Because the Heavenly Father is going to accomplish that wherewith he set his word out to accomplish. There's no if, ands, and buts about it. You know, the fear cometh of when, you know, you doubt within your own spirit whether or not you are of the elect. You know, the fear cometh when you doubt within your own spirit, when you begin to get under the impression that the Heavenly Father is not dealing with you. You know, that's a righteous fear. And what's beautiful about that is that the Heavenly Father is looking for the meek of the earth. He's looking for those contrite and low spirits, you know. Yeah, of course, you know, we would love to be 100% fervent. At the next light, turn left. Four hours a day, you know, but light wears you down. The scripture says that oppression, oppression wears you down. It makes you a, 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 in, uh, an individual who is perturbed, makes you an individual who's upset. An individual at, at times who feels as though they are losing their mind. But that's only because you see the beautiful gift that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, has granted unto us. But you see, no, at the light, no turn left onto Rice Road. You, know, you don't see any imminent fruits, you know, but we're looking for blossoming fruits in a vision that is far off. And the Heavenly Father commanded us to be ye still and know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Know, know that I am the Lord. Be ye still. And wait ye upon me until I rise up to the prey. You know, because it is the Heavenly Father's duty 
it is the heavenly father's obligation it's his obligation because he obligated himself he placed his his word above his name you know so the heavenly father is not an individual to where he's in 3.5 miles turn left onto harbor drive is going to give a righteous reward unto the righteous and a wicked reward to the wicked but there's nothing on this planet that can come between the heavenly father's elect and the non-elect like the the elect of the lord cannot will not and will never be deceived through enchantments through lies through danger turmoil through chaos nothing will detach their spirit from the spirit of the Lord right because that is as, as it was written the Lord himself stated that no man can pluck the elect out of his hand why because they are thine meaning his what his heavenly father and since the heavenly father gave him those e elect souls elect individuals then who can gainsay many but who can do anything about it no one and that's what it's all about you know, it's all about having that confidence because at the end of the day whether you slip fall or slumber your works and your faith that you have in the Lord is what ultimately is going to save you if you constantly pray and you constantly watch and you constantly seek after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, your chances are still better than anyone else's in the world. That doubt that you have is still more humble and meek than anyone else in, in the world. Those plagues of the mind that you believe that you have to where you feel like you're going insane or you're going crazy and you know you're depressed and you have anxiety and you're sad and you're sorrowful, then you're happy, then you smile, then you cry, then you scream. You know, all of those are the emotions of an individual seeking perfection in an imperfect world. And the Heavenly Father is going to reward you for that. You know, for you righteous brothers out there who continuously seek to do good day in and day out when all of the odds are against you. Because life is against you. Getting out here on this roadway, even before getting here, getting, getting up, getting ready, getting to the vehicle, getting in this vehicle getting on this roadway death was already imminent the wiles of the devil were, were already toiling and playing like it's a, a playground out here you know as it is written when satan was summoned to present himself before the lord he, he asked where did he come from so uh, you know just walking to and fro on earth walking up and down in it doing what seeking whom he may devour so just like the spiritual odds are in the righteous of favor, those wicked odds are in the wicked's favor. That's why the scriptures commands us to not suffer as an evildoer. The scriptures command you to entreat, entreat thy neighbor well. He gave you the commandments to thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not do this or do that. Commanded you to, if at all possible, be at peace with all men. Be not a, a, a reviler. Abraded not, be not a striker. You know, the Heavenly Father commanded us a lot of things that, that, that would help us live a somewhat peaceful life. You know, but the wicked continue to see, seek out wicked inventions. But Yahweh Shem Shai is going to redeem his elect. He's going to send his only begotten son at the time that is appointed by him. You know, for not even the Lord or the angels in heaven nor at the time that the Lord has set in his own purpose and his own power to do. You know, but the Heavenly Father is a righteous, a righteous man. You know, the creator of all things, the creator of righteousness itself, the creator of beauty itself, the creator of wisdom itself, the creator of knowledge itself. You know, so how can anything be above the most high? That's why he is the most high. 
elect shall receive salvation and the nurturing wings of grace shall be abundant. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. So whether you doubt, whether you are remorseful, whether you are sorrowful, at the end of the day, you find something to smile about. At the next light, turn left. I'm more than certain when you think about the glory and the salvation and forgiveness of sins that Yahweh Bashim and Hawashah had prepared for his elect, you will continue to smile and be confident and be bold and standing firm and believing that, you know what, I am a child of the Most High. I'm doing exactly what I need to do day in and day, day out. And the mistakes I do make, I acknowledge those and I continue to press forward. Be with me, bless me, protect me, keep me. 